Hello and welcome back to another beer review with your freshly shaved host, Jonathan Brown. That's right boys and girls, welcome to a beer review. We are going to Lancaster. We're going to Lancaster Brewery. Now this is the first time I've had a beer from uh, the Lancaster Brewery. And we have a bowl of the Lancaster, Lancaster Blonde. There you go, super smashing, great. Bit of a razzle dazzle in the old uh, sunlight there. There's the back side. 4% ABV. There you go. Yeah, super smashing great. Lovely stuff. So let's crack a open. Actually, no. First off, I'll see if there's anything worth um, relaying to you lot out there. Um, it's not saying any hops. It's not. It's saying it goes with Morgan Bay sea bass or French onion soup. It's not saying anything else. It's not saying anything, really. Uh, just giving you what appearance it would be and what aroma, what flavour it might be. And that's it. So, crack her open. So, the, the Lancashire Rose. The Redden. There you go, boys and girls. Let's see what we get from that. Nice little bit of biscuit there. Um, it says biscuit on the label. Um, it's like um, I used to get Gary Baldy biscuits with a little bit of sticky lemon on them. Could, you know, maybe it is Gary Baldy biscuit I'm getting. Something like that. It's it's it's, it's nice. It's very pleasant. So let's whack her in. She's gonna come out blonde. Quite a clear looking beer. Loads of carbonation rattling off there, as you can see. Uh, very clean looking. Heads just dissipating down, it's just plopping down. And she's in. So, appearance. Yeah, slight haze to it. Lots of carbonation. Quite a busy carbonation going on. A little bit of metallicness now getting from the glass. It's a little bit of a copper type of aroma. Lost the biscuit. The biscuit's gone. He's walked off. He's walked off down the road. He's left this one, I think. I'm going to go in, so cheers. That's really nice. That's really drinkable, as you can see. That's really nice. Um, this is a real nice session beer. Um, cool, I'll tell you what, boys and girls, sometimes you get a beer which you think to yourself, Christ, I can cane a load of these off. And these, this one, definitely. See what I get in the taste. Slight hint of bitterness on the front end. There is biscuit um, in the taste. He's come back. He's come back and he's just dropped himself in that glass. There's a bit of biscuit. A little bit of lemon rind. It's not too bitter, which for me gives it a really good sessionable quality. The overall mouthfeel. It's pretty smooth, really. You know, there's, there's nothing... Horrible about the mouthfeel, it's quite pleasant. On the back end, you're not left with any real big bitterness, it's just maybe a hint of caramel toffee on the back end, but it is a really, really nice beer. This is a cracking beer, and it's my first one from them. And I'll tell you what, boys and girls, I'll have to go and get some more, some different ones, definitely. One more for the road, I think. Mm. That is a real session of that. Boys and girls, Lancaster Blonde, pick one up, enjoy it. It's really, really nice. Really, really nice. And I think lager drinkers would like that too. Um, see you boys and girls on my next one. Cheers.